Today I will show you how to make this crazy fast forward glitch effect. Yo, it's Povikas here, and real quick as I just say, I'm a little bit sorry because I'm sick right now, so yeah, that's my voice is a bit different, and also yeah, I put this hoodie on. And also another thing I have to say is that if you actually like these crazy glitch effects, then I would 100% recommend to just go and just check out my glitch pieces pack, which I have worked on for the entire summer to make. It is an absolutely dope pack, which has over 25 of those crazy glitch presets, which you can use for any editing project, and they are just insane. So yeah. I'm 100% recommend to go and check it out and it will be the first link in the description but anyways let's begin all right guys so we have a clip or clips actually of one and only from his stardust music video and i just cut them up but you can do whatever you want you can just not cut them up and just have this effect so what we can do is press ctrl y to make a new adjustment layer on which we will add this effect and this will be the transition point for me so i will go one two three four frames backwards press ctrl shift d and delete here i'll go back here and go one for one plus control shift delete here you don't have to do that i'll just do that so i know where we are because this effect will require some keyframing so we'll just keep that in mind so here the first effect we're going to add is actually going to be surprisingly the most important effect of the whole video it's going to be stv damage which requires the sapphire plugin so i 100 percent recommend to have the sapphire plugin although it does cost money so yeah do whatever you want but i definitely recommend it and i like to make the reception master to zero here and i like to go to fast forward amount i like to make something like 2.4 you can make it higher you can make it lower this will make the fast forward pop out this is what i mean by like fast forward that looks really cool cool but as you will see now it just will look kind of stupid just like that like you know that's that's really nothing right here i mean it's kind of cool i don't know but that's not really a good like transition or anything to have so let's keep going so i like to go to fast forward details and here i'm going to make the brand frequency at the start to 3.1 and i will just keep it like this and let's go one two frames forward and here let's make it to two. Oh, let's go one frame forward and here let's make it to 3.1 and let's say at the ending i like to make it to one this is how i love making glitches you know this is a real sauce right here like this is how you make glitches in after effects i mean it's really difficult to show how to make like really good glitches like sort of like the ones i have in my glitch pieces pack but this is as close as you can get if you want to make glitches like really fast so yeah that is a really cool effect to add here oh and another effect that I like that here is I like that motion tile and let's actually make this go on top of STU damage out here and let's make the output with somewhere like 65 right now but you will see like it might be a little too small right now but it will see we will make it higher a bit later on so now we can add an effect that will give colors to these fast order like uh, tapes I guess it's called signal now this is a paid plugin but I 100% recommend to have it it doesn't cost that much and it's just a real cool plugin to have and i like to make the signal strength here to three which will make the colors pop as you can see here i really like the colors to have there and honestly i like to go to hue noise and this is just my personal opinion but i like to make it to 155 it will give these different colors which i think look really cool but i also like to make the chroma loss kind of high to like 0 0.73 because fast forward glitches they're kind of like black and whitish with some colors on like that i think looks crazy yeah you could keep it like this if you want but i like to go to little more modulation and i like to turn on this and this and we will have already this crazy glitch effect and here i will add an effect called transform because i think it looks pretty cool when you scale this up a bit more so i'll make it to 117 and now as you can see the black bars kind of went up a bit with the effect so i think that kind of like made it nice you know and now we can add fast box blur which will damage the look and i just like to make it to free but to undamage it i like to add on sharp mask and here i'm gonna make the amount to like 200 you can make it very different if you want i like to make the radius to five as well and now we can add exposure and for exposure i just like to make it to two because i really like to expose it like this so yeah this looks really really cool like this but i don't know if you like it like this because i think it could have more so what i like to do personally oh my god i accidentally just keep him that no sorry i like to go back to stv damage and go back to band shift and let's just play around with it so let's go one two frames forward after keyframing it and maybe let's just make it go a bit you know higher somewhere here yeah 
why not and let me go let's go here maybe and uh let's make the band shift maybe even higher you know let's make it mm, that might be a little too high yeah let's make it look like this yeah sure you can make it like that i mean honestly i don't know i, I we can make it to 0.2 yeah in the middle i like it to have that in the middle yeah that's really really cool and yeah you will have this magnificent effect like honestly i think that looks really cool and now to actually make it like fast forward i guess you can also speed up your clip so here we have just a clip that is actually long as you can see this clip is long so we can press ctrl shift d to cut this clip i mean if you don't have a long clip this doesn't matter but what you can do is press ctrl alt d take this go to the ending take this and just drag this point right here yeah i think that is really really cool just to fast forward it like that <laughs> I, I don't know that i just love that so much and we can keep going honestly we can go here we can press ctrl d duplicate this layer and here i'm actually going to press ctrl y again and i'm gonna make this layer go a bit below press ctrl shift d and i want to try something i want to go to animation presets user presets and i'm gonna go to my glitch presets at uh, 24 fps because i'm using 24 fps but it doesn't really matter what fps you're using and i'm gonna select glitch 10 i love to combine this with the glitch 10 it's actually insanely cool but as you can see that gives a easy effect but wait let's just keep going a bit forward that looks really really cool i send it right here so yeah let's press ctrl shift d and delete so yeah let's see how this looks with that glitch effect i mean with these glitch effects i added a lot of like animations you know a lot of like keyframes a lot of different variations it just looks really really cool i took a really long time to make these glitches so yeah wow that is my boy good okay yeah so that is insane what you can do with just mixing these glitches up just like that and we can go a bit forward here maybe let's go actually let's go right here i was supposed to control it again and i actually made like a little fast forward glitch on this pack as well the only thing is it's a bit darker here so we can press ctrl y and below that layer add exposure and i'm gonna make it to two here because i want to expose that a bit more you know yeah i think that needs more exposure and let's just cut it up and this is how the fast forward glitch from the pack will look like absolutely crazy and we can go on a bit forward again press ctrl y and at the end we can edit off of so let's say glitch six i love this effect but i actually like to start it off from a bit from the middle somewhere right like here yeah press ctrl shift d and yeah for this sequence ending i'm just going to use glitch 6 which is an absolutely mind-blowingly cool glitch effect just like that actually ridiculously cool just wow and yeah again you can really combine this with the fast forward so add that on top of here so yeah i just showcased today how to make one glitch effect but if you want more crazy glitch effects like i mean i just showed you free as well from the pack like there's plenty more in the pack so so i really recommend to check out the pack and as a thank you for watching this tutorial i also have to let you know that i have a five dollar discount code for the glitch presets pack which is code glitch 5 if you use code glitch 5 at the checkout you will save five dollars off on the glitch presets pack but anyways guys that's about it for the video if you have any questions then please let me know but anyways it was fun have a fun and productive day see ya